Hi, this is Mark at Ding Dong's Garden, and I just want to bring you out here to our willow bed and uh, and talk a little bit. We have over a hundred types of willow out here, along with some dogwoods and cottonwoods. And I'm going to point out a few of my favorites now, even though they they're they're not going to show their winter color yet, but uh, they are starting to show what they look like they'll look like in the summer. And as each of these matures, I will come back out here and, uh, and devote a video to each one. This is Continental Osier. It's uh, winter color is kind of a brownish, you know, greenish brown. But in the summer, it's got these uh, really narrow leaves. And once it gets high enough, it'll, it looks very pretty in the breeze, almost like bamboo. This is golden curls. The, the contortion or the curls in this isn't really showing yet, but once it gets a little bit bigger, the, the, the stems kind of start going into crazy directions. And so in addition to the curl, you get kind of a weeping uh, feature to it. So it's a very, very nice. And, and the, um, the winter color is going to be a, kind of a yellowish red. This is Golden Weeping Willow. I think we've all seen these in our lifetime, but they're, uh, they're they, as a big tree with uh, a traditional weeping characteristic. Uh, but this is a, it's golden in the, in the winter, so it'll be kind of a nice shade of green in the summer. And these stems are all early first year wood and they're not showing their true color. But later this year, we'll come out here and we'll see that they're all a, a uh, very attractive golden yellow. And this is a basketry willow called Irette. You can see why it's uh, called, also called purple willow. There's many different types of purple willow, but it's uh, Salix purpurea, I think is the scientific name, but it's very, very pretty and has uh, rods that are very uh, good for basketry. This one didn't grow so well for us last year. I'm not sure why. Could have been just a cool winter. It might have been the, because it's the first year we planted it. And maybe even because the, the leaves don't have a lot of chlorophyll, so maybe it doesn't grow as aggressively. But this dappled willow, when you let it grow out and, and you coppice it and you you take care of it it really uh, it's a really pretty hedge or a shrub and finally this is the scarlet curly willow everyone loves this uh, this is the red this will stay red through the summer and into the winter and it makes great shapes and it's uh, a great willow for uh, for floristry work